Are you single? Do what this or share your answer in the comments below. Playing a game like Forced Choices is a quick way to see what you have in common when you're getting to know someone new. All right, all right, we're back one more time. Zapor, Lockout Man, back in the building. But this time, we're not talking about our favorite TikToker, but we are talking about a TikToker. Uh, let me go ahead and uh, shout out his, uh, I think his name is Mr. Howard. But I I'll, leave his, I'll, I'll leave his link in the description below. But uh, Mr. Howard has a good relationship tiktok channel you know he talks okay. about he talks about relationships and you know singles and mingles and all like that but he has this um he has this challenge right here that i that i feel that you know me and you could participate in to see you know where where we at on our our single radar does, mm -hmm. does that make any sense yeah how, how long have you been single, Zippor? Oh, my God. You're going to make me count. <laughs> Let's see. Damn it, man. Since about, oh, shit, 2019. Fuck. Don't judge me. <laughs> this is a non judgmental conversation. <laughs> <laughs> you say, don't judge me, huh? <laughs> yep. Hey, well, I mean, I mean, it is what it is. I mean, I, I, I've been, let me see. I've been driving for six years, got my license at the end of 2014. Uh, 2015, yeah, uh, seven? Fuck. Oh. Seven, seven uh, 2015. We got 20, to do better. This is 20, ridiculous. 2015, 2022, <laughs> right? Yes. Oh my God! Seven years. I know. Oh, oh, it's awful, ain't it? <laughs> I got. I, I got. I, I, I guess I got more leg on you than than. than yeah, me. you got me beat. Oh, but hell, it's been a long time. Wow. Have you? Okay. So have you? Uh, have you been like seeing people within that time? Yeah, but they're not relationship material. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So, so. Because you know a guy will talk himself out of a relationship. If you listen to people, they'll tell you who they are. It's a lot of red flags if you listen to people when they talk. Mm. And you be like, mm, nah, I can't even do this. This so, ain't even finna work. So, so you saying, so you saying that I I might be able to talk myself out of a relationship without me? Yeah, knowing? you'll probably talk yourself out of a relationship <laughs> without me knowing. <laughs> yeah, without you even knowing. So, yep. so what men if, and women do that. So, okay, okay. So what? What are you like? I mean, you know, not to say if you're looking for anything, but what what turns you? What turns you on? Like what what turns what what turns you on about a man if you want to get to know him and what do you expect out of him? He and got to have I, a I, business. I, I, what? You I, just asked me a question. Yeah, yeah. Don't turn around and say Okay. No, ahead, I'm saying ahead. he got to have a business mindset with some ambition. Hmm. He got to have goals. Lord. Where you see yourself in five, ten years? Lord, you still gonna be living see. with your mammy and catching Ubers, oh, or are you trying to God. have a home and a business and a car? What, 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 what's up? See, that's see right there. Stop right there. See, I I can't mess with you. I I, I can't mess with you. What? You, you, what you, you talking you, about? You you inspecting too much from me? Yeah. I, oh I, Lord. Look, I mean, if I mean, if if. You know, if he got ambition, y'all can build together, but you got to have goals. What do you want to be in life? What are you trying to accomplish? What are you trying to reach? Why would you date somebody without goals? That doesn't make any sense. Yeah, you gotta, what you, are we you, doing if you, we don't have any goals in place? You you got a point there. You 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 got a point there. Me, I'm like, I'm I'm more like, I guess, I guess me, I'm just 
I don't know. I, I you know, I, old fashioned. I, yeah. See, I had, you know, I've been married for a quarter of my life. I'm, right. I'm, I'm not looking to get married again. Um. See, you got to find somebody that a woman that doesn't care about marriage. That's that part. Okay. Now, as far as what I'm, as far as what I like and what I'm looking for, I mean, I'm just going to be honest. Number one, your kids got to be grown. <laughs> your, your, no. kids, your, your kids, oh, gotta, so wrong for that. Your, your, your kids got to be grown, man. I, mm, I, I'm not trying to be. Why? Because you don't want to deal with nah, the baby I, daddy, or you I'm, not trying to raise somebody else's nah, kids? That's, that's that selfish. part. That part. That's I, selfish. That's that part. I'm not trying to raise your kids. You're kid. throwing away the nah, best relationship nah, ever I'm, because I'm, she got nah, kids and you don't want to raise. I'm good. I don't want to raise no kids. I'm. I'm not oh, step. So I'm not step. I'm not step daddy material. I'm just not. Oh my god. I'm not gonna be. I'm. I'm not. I'm fit. I'm in my fifties, man. I am not trying to be nobody's stepdad to no 10, 15 year old. I'm good. Why? Yo, Cause you got to go upside the head. <sighs> Of being disrespectful, and then the other part that you, you said. Daddy. Well, the other part that you said about being, you know, the baby daddy. Yeah, I, I don't want to yeah. deal with that either. You're not my daddy. Yeah, I, I don't want to deal with none of that. Uh, none of that. So, <laughs> I, I guess that's. I guess you know. I guess that I, that erased ninety percent of the field out there. I'm just it saying. does. So what does that leave you? It just that that just leaves me with. You with, don't have much to choose from if, like that. Hey, you know I don't mind messing with fifty and ups. Maybe at the oh, end, of, maybe at the end of your forties. You know what I'm saying? But uh, yeah, but, Lord, but, but your kids gonna have to be grown. I'm just saying mm, that, that mm, part right mm, there. Mm, mm. Uh, <laughs> uh, another thing, another thing too, being that I'm a truck driver and I'm in this truck driver's life. You know, you got to understand my, uh, you know, my lifestyle. You know, I'm not gonna be. Let your money come first. Well, no, I'm. I'm not gonna be. Well, no, we'll we'll talk about the money in a minute, but. You know, you know, I'm not going to be home, you know, or, you know, every day or whatever, whatever. You know what I'm saying? I, I think it's much more harder to to get a relationship in the beginning when you're yeah. trying to meet somebody and you're a truck driver and you're trying to meet somebody mm -hmm. that's not in the industry. You right. know, gonna, they want to know when you're going to be home. I'm, I'm yes. bored. I, mm -hmm. I, I need to see you and all like that. So. That's why a lot of these truck drivers get cheated on because they never at home. Mm. And I remember a post that was put on the black truck driver's website mm -hmm. that this guy wife was cheating on him while he was over the road. He came home and caught her, mm. destroyed the man mentally, physically, emotionally, and left him for the man she was cheating on him with. He put that on the way on Facebook. Mm. It happens. It, it, it does. And 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 some of the and and some of the old school truck drivers will tell you that, you know, their marriage was affected by them choosing to be in the uh, be in the trucking industry. And so. some of them will actually come home and do local work to save their marriage. And some will just be like, "Oh well, too bad. You'll get over it because I'm going to get this money." Exactly. You know what I'm saying? So you got to think about which is more important. Because see, money is the root of all evil, depending on how you use it. Mm. Now let's you know talk. Now, now let's talk about the money. Now, yeah, this this is my money, not yours. You got to make your own money. I, I'm not oh about to listen. I'm, look, look, look. I'm, You're so selfish. I'm I'm not here to pay for your weave, your nails, your toes, none of that. So no. why are you in a relationship if the woman got to make her own money? Yeah, what do you mean? Why I'm in a relationship if the woman got to? Yeah, the woman got to make her own money. But okay, but if she's making her own money, she still expects for you to do something. Yeah, you're yeah, okay. I, you if you I want to do, if I want to do, no, no, no. If I that key word here, I want to do it, not not to be inspected. If I if I want to take you out to dinner, I'll take you out to dinner. If I want to get your hair and nails done. I will get your hair and nails done. Don't but you expect for her to give you sex whenever you want it. 
You don't want to pay for nails. You want to pay for nails at your convenience. You want to get hair done at your convenience. You want to get toes done and all this other shit, but you want your dick wet, though, right? Oh, my God. See, see, we, we didn't even have to go there with the sex part. But then let's just keep it real. You want to get it wet. You wanted to slob on the knob. You want to feel some warmness, but, but you, you won't give up but what you, you want to give up. But, you, but you, give want, you, you want the same thing, too, though. Right? Ain't nothing in life for free. She, oh, okay. So that's, so, okay. So that's. I pay for my own toes and nails and get my little shape-ups done. Right. And I don't have to ask nobody for nothing. Right, there you go. But if I'm having sex with you, you got to come out your pocket, baby. It, are you serious? Uh, oh, no. Dead man. ass. Oh, Dead no. serious. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Dead serious. So I'm you not gonna be to... having sex with you, and I still got to do everything myself. What's the point? What? That's what I was talking about earlier. Coming together. Oh, okay. So, oh, okay. It's it's. It... Look, like I said, I will, you know, do you know, do things if at I... your convenience. But no, if I want to do it, if I want, to, if I want to get your hair, get your, hair, I don't want you to inspect that from me. So as I say, if I say mm -hmm. lockout man, yeah, I need a uh, hundred dollars to go to the nail shop. What you gonna tell me? I don't have a hundred dollars. Really? If I said give me a hundred dollars to go get my toes and my nails done, because that's what I pay when I go to the nail shop. Okay, so let me ask it's you. It's ninety dollars and up. So so let me ask you. And then if I get my eyebrows done, that's another ten, fifteen dollars. So let let me ask you. Let me ask you this. That's chump change. You, That's pocket change. Are let me ask you this. Are you working? You already know my situation no, right no, now. No, 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 no. I'm I'm no, we're speaking generally. I know your situation. Yes. But yes. Are, yes, are I you am. working? Yes. Okay. okay. Yes. Was you doing that before you met me? Yes. I was. What but I'm be, having sex with you, right? What will be what will be the reason? That because I'm having sex with you and I can get it from you and I can keep my money. Okay, see, right? You're lucky I don't have the buzzer. Okay, you know what? Moving on. <laughs> moving on. All right, here, here we go. Love you. Moving on. Here we go. We about to get into it. Here we go. Single. Do what this or share your answer in the comments below. Playing a game like Forced Choices is a quick way to see what you have in common when you're getting to know someone new. All right. So this this uh, challenge is called Forced Choices, right? Okay. And he's gonna ask he's gonna ask us a series of questions, and what it is the rules is is that you need to answer quickly in two seconds. And rule number two. Don't say both, neither, or either, okay? But let me... Okay. But, but, but I'm a grown-ass man, and I do what I want to do. I do right. what I want to do. So we... <laughs> exactly. So we we going to take these questions as they come. So what you finna do is just make me talk myself out of a relationship, because I'm going to tell the truth. <laughs> <laughs> here, all right, here, here we go. Here we go. If you had to pick one, Text all night or talk all night. All right. Text all night or talk all night, Zippor. Talk. Talk. Mm. I'm I'm gonna have to go with that. I'm I'm gonna have to talk all night. You know, we mm -hmm. you know, the old school, you know, me coming right. from the old school and all like that. See, people don't mm -hmm. people don't remember the days where we used to be on the phone, like be on the phone, like the phone be right. in the kitchen and the cord yes. be all the way in the living room and you be talking to your boo or whoever you talking and to. And then fall asleep and on the phone. And then fall asleep on the phone. That's what I'm talking that about. That's what the days. Life. They That's don't a, do that no more. No, they don't do that no more. They want to text. I don't, I don't like the text. Call me. Right. Man, Why would I have a whole three-hour conversation exchange of text messages? That's crazy. Uh, now, nah, if you want to exchange pictures with me, I'm good with that. But, you know yeah, what? But uh, but I'm 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 good with the I'm I'm good with the talk all night. Right. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yeah. Be in lust forever, or be in like forever. All right. Be, what do you say? Be in lust forever or be in like forever. Like. 
Because if somebody likes you, the lust is going to come. It falls into place. Okay, okay. Don't I, lust over me like me. Okay, okay. I feel you. Now, Now, men, you know, I'm, I'm just talking generally, not not me. But men, you know, they, they lust over females like. They do. You know. But, but I, we lust over men too now. Now, I, I think I'm going to have to go with the like on this one. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I'm going to have to go with the like on this one. All right. Hold on. Sex before marriage or wait till marriage? Shit. Mm. Sex before marriage. <laughs> Bump all that. I'm too old. I believe the sex. I'm too old. <laughs> 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 Shit, I, I'm not pleading the fifth. I'm letting you know now. We, hey, look, baby, look. Let me let me tell you something. We 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 knocking boots. Period. If if we not, you know, we and and look, we just talk. Support support just said that we gonna have to pay for it. So yeah, we we knocking boots, baby. We ain't waiting to no marriage. <laughs> We we not And boots. you know a lot of people can't do that. That's old school. That's an old fashioned way of doing things. You supposed to meet and if you're gonna have a relationship, you're mm-hmm. gonna get engaged, you're gonna get married mm-hmm. and the sex come afterwards. But I had a lady tell me, an old Jamaican lady, she was about eighty nine years old. She didn't believe in waiting until you got married to have sex because she said, What if you don't like it? Yeah. She said you gotta test the water before you get married. Yeah, I it, said, Oh my goodness. Exactly. That's exactly, exactly what she said. Uh, I'm I'm not talk uh, you know, for me it's not about testing the waters, but I'm I'm not waiting to I'm I'm not waiting to marriage. I'm good. But but what if you don't like it? What if the sex is absolute garbage? Then you don't waste it all this time. And you don't got married and y'all get in the bedroom. You be like, really? That's all you got? Oh, you well, got to test the waters. You got to test it beforehand. Well, that's why I said we. Hate that. That's why I said we having sex before marriage. Right. So you got to know if you're sexually compatible. Yeah. So we 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 rocking mm-hmm. in that. Here we go. <laughs> Shower together or a bath together. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Bath. Bath. Sit in the tub, baby. What? Well, you know Wash what? My <laughs> back. Look. Let me. Let, okay. So we're 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 truckers. So we we gonna have to we we gonna have to you know. Work Those baths out. are so intimate. Right. Right. I get you. <laughs> I'm I'm with you. I'm I'm with you on the bath. I'm I'm choosing bath. But you know we're out here. We we got to take a shower together. You know, yeah, but we when we get home, but, together, when yes, we, yes. But, but 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 when we get home, right, it's the, it's the bubble bath. So we're gonna go exactly. with we, in our position, bro. We're gonna go with both, but yeah, I, I I don't know about the I, I don't know about my bathtub. My bathtub too damn small for two people. I'm just saying. <laughs> Well, y'all saying. sit down and face each other. Shit, yeah. put your legs on top of each other or something. Oh. Ooh. What you mean? It'll work. You can sit your ass in the tub with somebody else. Yeah, you can face me, put your legs. Right. Mm, there's a lot of stuff I can do with that. Oh, Jesus. Jeez. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Yeah, okay, see, my mind's going in, in 20 different yeah, directions. Bring it Next. Back. Right. Big spoon or little spoon? All right, I'm what? going to go with a. I'm going to go with a bit spoon. All right, I. I, I he like, said big spoon or little spoon. Yeah, bit spoon or little spoon. I'm going to have to go with a bit spoon on this one because I like portions. Little ass spoons just going to piss me the fuck off when I eat. Don't go. Oh, don't, gotcha. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, when yeah, I, when yeah I, big spoon. Yeah, when yes. I, when I eat, you you're going to have to give me. I I, I like portions. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> little, spoon, little spoon is not going to work for me. What about you? Well, I don't eat that much, so I'm gonna go with the small spoon. Oh damn it, man! You're gonna have to go. You, you're gonna have to go. You're gonna be the one. You're gonna be the one that I take out on a date. I get the steak. The you take me out on the date, and I, I will order from the kids menu and be just as damn happy because I'm not gonna waste your money on food that I know I'm not gonna eat. Oh my god! So you you the one that's gonna be like, yo, I just take a salad. Yeah, so why would I go spend all your money on this food and take it home when I could just eat a kid's meal and you get whatever you're going to eat and then we'd be just as happy? Like, I wouldn't waste your money like that. So if I take you, so you'd be happy if I take you to McDonald's on the first date. I don't 
don't eat McDonald's, first of all. <laughs> I'm good on that. You're not taking me to no freaking fast food restaurant on no first date. <laughs> Oh my God. That's why I don't get in the car with people. I will meet you somewhere. So that way, if it's something that I know I'm not going to do, I'll tell you I'm good and I go on about my business. Oh, that's You what's won't up. be picking me up and taking me nowhere. That's what's up. Next. <laughs> morning sex or late night sex? Oh, shit. We have both. Morning. No, nah, morning. Both, nah, yes. both. No, nah, both of me. Give me energy before I go to work. Nah. Yeah, morning and night. Yeah, you can you can say both on that one. Yeah, I'm I'm saying both. Fuck that. Yeah, me, mm-hmm. shit, put, put me to sleep and wake me up. But yeah, but the morning <laughs> sex is better than the night sex. Mm. Don't you think so? I, I don't know. I you know, uh, you know, if you tire me out at night, then. Waking me up in the morning with with just with think good. about it. All the juices don't marinate it, and it's still moist. And then you just slide up in it in the morning. <laughs> it ain't really no foreplay you got to do because it's still wet from the night before. God damn it, man! Yeah, we we good. <laughs> we we going with both on this one, bro. Thank you. <laughs> I don't know why I'm being yeah. fooling with you. <laughs> Thank you, bro. We going with both on this <laughs> one, man. They do it. A romantic partner or a freaky partner? Ooh, <sighs> freaky. Freaky? Well, uh, no, because I like, okay, so intimacy is way far better than sex. I don't know if a lot of guys are into intimacy because it's better than sex. You know what I'm saying? But he said romance or freaky. Mm-hmm. I don't know about that one. I don't know. I think I'll take, I don't know. I, I'll say freak because I don't know. I guess romance is like more of a, it takes longer to get through it. Yeah. But you, if you, you talk if about you the freaking, so, you talk, if you freaking, you just down and, down and yeah. dirty and that's it. You, you talk about the soap opera sets, you know, just looking right. to the eyes. And, you know, right. Like so I'll say delivery. freak. Ain't nobody got time for that romance. Yeah, now, I, you say intimacy and freak. I would choose intimacy over being freaky now, because intimacy is better than being a freak. Now, I'm going to have to go with the freak. You know, you could be the, yeah, you know, you, I, I, you know, the, the, you know, the old saying, you know, classy in the streets and the freak in the sheets. Right, so, right. Freaky. Yeah, yeah I know I, it's freak. I, yeah, I'll go with freak. I'm, I'm with you on that one. Mediocre sex often or incredible sex once in a while? Mm. Zippor? That's a hard one. Zippor? Mediocre sex often or incredible sex once in a while? Zippor? I would have to say, I would have to say incredible sex once in a while because don't nobody want nothing that's mediocre. So you, so you'll be pissed off of a one minute man. Oh, no, nah, we ain't even do that. I don't play them games. <laughs> <laughs> so, wait a minute. If uh, so, I roll with your ass, I will roll with you. Don't see, don't play with me. So, what about, okay, so what about the dude that's, what, what about the guy? What about the guy that's like, look, baby, you know, let me go ahead and, uh, you know, uh, quickies. What, what about that? I my body's not designed for quickies. I've never in my life had a quickie. Your body's not designed. For nope. <laughs> you got to roll. You got to roll with my big ass. Ain't nobody finna oh. do no quickie because that quickie only satisfying you, and then I'm mad as hell. No, we ain't playing them games. Oh my god. Nope. You nope. Said, you said you you said. Oh my god. You said. Oh my. You, you say your body <laughs> I is, told her I won't keep it real. You say your body is not made for quickies. <laughs> nope. <laughs> not at all. Oh. I am not designed for quickies. Sorry. Oh, my God. You will piss me off and never hear from me again. Do not play with my poo nanny. Okay. Well, Don't I'm, play with me. I. You know. <laughs> I, I'm gonna have to you get on my nerves. I'm, I'm probably gonna have to go with incredible sets every often. Every yeah, often. I'm gonna have to go with that because you know mediocre sets. You know, again, 
pisses women off. I, I'm going to have to yep. agree with you on that one. It does. You know, you're going to be like, damn, bro, that's it? Yep. Hurt I, your damn feelings yeah. in a heartbeat. <laughs> I will hurt your feelings. All right, next. <laughs> a partner that doesn't like cuddling or doesn't like kissing. Okay, e- neither. Neither. I, I, I need yep, you. Neither. I, 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 neither. I, I need you to cuddle and kiss. Yep. I, Kissing I, turn you on like a mud. Exactly. And I need to cu- uh-huh. and, and I need to cuddle <laughs> afterwards. Yep. Afterwards, because I still need exactly. to, I still need to feel that body. You know what I'm saying? Uh huh. You know, and I understand some dudes just turn over and just go to sleep. Nah, I, I turn over and still yeah. hug you. Right. And, right. And, yeah. Me and, too. And I need the kissing. So I'm, I'm all mm-hmm. about the kissing. Uh, yep. Yeah, I'm all about the kissing. So yeah, we we go. Mm-hmm. We we need both of them, bro. Yep. What is harder to say? I forgive you. Or I need your help. Okay. Okay. I need your help. I yeah, I need you. Especially for men, because men got too much pride. Too to tur- much pride. Yeah. Oh my God, I can't stand a man with pride. You know God don't like men with pride. You know. God does not like pride. He does not like pride for I, people, pride for men. I, I think I, I think we have a problem or we have we have more of an issue than at, I mean asking a woman for help. Yeah. Pride. Pride all so, day long. Mm-hmm. So, but you would think that uh, I forgive you is a little bit more easier to say, though. Yeah, but that pride, shoot, child, please. Mm. Asking somebody for something. Mm. All right, I, I think this is it. I think that's the last one. Are you single? Yep, that's the last one. So, woo! Zapor. <laughs> Lockout man. Yo, if you guys if you guys want to check this if you guys want to check this man out, you know, definitely check his uh TikTok out. TikTok out. It's he has some real good uh relationship uh content on his channel. Uh I wanna shout I definitely want to shout him out. Uh definitely shout out to my girl Zapor as always. You know, we always want yeah. to get together and we just gonna we just have a good time over here on the Lockout Men Podcast show. Mm-hmm. All right, Zapor, you take it easy. You have a good night and I'll talk to you later. You too. All right, later. <laughs>